Hey y'all, it's your girl Talisa Ray, and it is Truthful Thursday. I didn't do one last week because it was Thanksgiving. I felt like I, I didn't want to intrude in your family time, you loving on each other and being thankful. But come to find out, you missed me. Yes, you missed me. Guess what? I missed you too. You guys don't know how much I enjoy doing Truthful Thursdays, whether one person watches or 300 people watches. We're going to get that 300 up, though. We're going to get it up. Y'all going to be like, oh, I knew her win. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. I really enjoy talking with you. And, you know, I've got a lot of sisters by love and not by blood. I've got, you know, my close friends that are really like family to me. We share a bond that is super strong. Like, I know I can count on the majority of them. Anyway, but I was thinking, like, you know, these are beautiful, intelligent women. And I thought about just in general, you know, I'm super analytical, AKA nosy, also known as observant. And I watch people. I watch people when I go out, even when I'm having a good time, I'm still watching people and their behaviors and how they interact with people. And, you know, I know a lot of people want to be in relationships. They want to be, you know, in a, a unit. They want to be married. I know that there are a lot of people like that. And when I think about women, because I'm taking inventory of myself, the newly single woman, you know, I, I'm taking inventory of myself and the things that I do and I say. And I, I, I'm just wondering, like, why aren't they meeting people of caliber, of substance? What's going on? You know, sometimes it is the man, but sometimes it's things that we're doing too. And for example, walking around with your BRF, your bitchy resting face, is not working for you. It's not working for me. Mine translates over to work. My, my supervisor once told me, are you okay? Because your whole face says, go yourself. <laughs> that's what it says. She didn't say that, but I knew that that's what she meant. And if you have never seen what bitchy resting rest face looks like, you probably have it. You know, bitchy resting face. You know, the look that you're annoyed, smelling shit, don't come bother me. Why are you looking this way? The I'm passing judgment on you right now look. Yeah, that look. Even if that's not what you're thinking, that is exactly what it's portrayed. And really, all it is is you got a lot of stuff going on in your mind. So it's it's moving and you're not you're concentrating on how your face looks. Nobody's going to approach you with the BRF. For starters, nobody is going to approach you. You have to figure out how to make the smile from the inside shine on the outside without looking crazy because you don't want to be walking around smiling like, mm. you know, but you do want a pleasant face. Like, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I have to think about things that I enjoy or people that I like or times that I had to, to, to make my face automatically smile because if I think about my life and what all the things that I have to do you do you are kind of annoyed that you have to adult like sometimes you don't want to adult and you know it's unintentionally but you you have a frown on your face because you you're, you're adulting <laughs> you see kids don't have BRF because they frolicking around and having a good time speaking of frolicking okay one of my sister friends honey when we go out we flit and flutter Flit and flutter, flit and flutter. Now, with the flitting and flutter, what does that mean? That means we have a good time. We dance, we laugh, we giggle, regardless of if someone's asking you to dance. You don't always need a dance partner. I mean, dance, have a good time. We flit and flutter. Try it, try it. Just be yourself, be joyous. Say I'm enjoying myself and that's what it is, period. Because enjoyment starts before you even get to the place. And while we are talking about flitting and fluttering, hanging out with your girlfriends and going to events, what have you, I just want you to know that men are intimidated, regardless if they're going to tell you or not, by women in clusters, in circles, in herds. Like, it's two of you, okay. Four or five of you is a bit intimidating. Not 
a lot of men have enough confidence to come in that circle to uh, impede on the circle, to broach the circle, to break the circle, to come and talk to the one that they're interested in because they know that everybody is staring. Everybody is looking. They don't want the put down and everybody looking. I don't care if he is the finest man with the most swag in the world. If he finds you attractive, he still has to get up the nerve to come and talk to you because there are women throwing themselves at him. But if he finds you attractive, baby, it's something about you. So he has to get up the nerve and be like, I'm going to talk to her. So in that circle, it prohibits that communication, them eight people you walking around with. I'm just saying, and I'm speaking from experience. However, fellas, the sexiest thing you could do, the most attractive thing you can do when it comes to a circle like that, honey, it happened to me and I just melted. Somebody to come into your circle and grab you by your hand and say, can I talk to you for a minute? When I tell you that when the gentleman did that to me, I thought, ooh, and when I got back to my circle, they was all like, ooh, that was sexy. Yes, indeed. It was. You should try it. Now, of course, that relationship didn't work out. You know, we didn't, we weren't compatible. It's just what it is. But that one thing about him said that he had confidence and was not afraid of the hens cackling in the circle. <laughs> Baby, let me tell you. Ooh, yes. I, I Thinking about it makes me think, ooh, that's nothing but confidence exuding from, me, from him. Like, had me looking like, ooh, well, all right then. Hey, how you doing? You know, speaking of confidence and presence, honey, a woman that enters a room that carries presence and confidence, and I'm not talking about the it girl, the look at me. I'm talking about I'm confident in my skin. I love who I am. I'm making adjustments to things that I don't like, i.e. my weight. But when you walk in and you say, oh, I'm here. Yes, it's me. Yes, check me out. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing but Snap that neck, honey. <laughs> Woo, follow you around the room. Because, honey, with the walk that you got, honey, I know some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all don't have the walk. You know, I, it, it took me a while to perfect the walk. But, honey, you're going to have to just stand up and walk and strut and say, I'm here. Hi, how are you? Yes. Make eye contact. Baby, try just that. Walk in with presence, smiling, making eye contact at the gentleman. And when you find the one that you that ple is pleasing to your eye versus you being pleasing to his, but you will be exuding all that confidence, honey. Catch it. Hold it. Yes! Come through, baby. Come through! I'm just saying. And then, you know, one last thing on the flip side... Think about what you're promoting when you uh, go out and you meet people. You want to meet someone of caliber? Then don't put out the sign. Don't put that sign up that says, I'm easy. There's a sign. If you're looking at every man with eye contact, alluring eye contact, and and touching every man that walks by, and, you you know, it's okay to sashay around. But, honey, when it is extra, you really need to check it. You really need to check it. I love you. You really need to check it. I heard a pastor once say, take the sign down. If you don't want to um, appear to be easy, appear to be stuck up, appear to be all these wrong things, take that sign down and put something else up. Just like because you promote what you want. Think about that. Think about that. I've never forgotten it. I never will. I am Talisa Ray. Thank you so much for watching. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you. Do me a favor and just click the little red subscribe button. To the right of that button is the bell. Click that too so that you're notified of all my upcoming videos. And how about try interacting with me? Like the videos, share the videos, comment on the videos. Let's have a dialogue. I will catch you next week.